Dear Diary, that's how you're meant to start these things, right? I have never kept a journal before, nor do I want to, but the hospital says I have to as part of my treatment plan. Funny. Let me backtrack a little. I have always been overweight. From being a child, I went to a strict Christian school, and luckily, because of this, I was never bullied because of my size. But you always notice the other kids staring. It got worse as I got older. I just seemed to expand in all directions except the one way I wanted. So, not only am I fat, but also very short. You can imagine this didn't do much for my self-esteem. Because of my size, I've always hated gym class at school. Firstly, there's the undressing in front of the other beautiful skinny girls who always glance over at me. Oh God, this is embarrassing to write. I could feel my whole body flare red as I felt their eyes on me. Then there was the exercise itself. I'd get awful chest pains and couldn't run around more than a hundred meters and wouldn't even attempt real team games. No one would pick me anyway. I tried diets. Every single diet you can imagine. Atkins, cabbage soup, five to two. You name it, I've tried it. But they never work. I always end up craving and getting bigger. Things got really bad two years ago. I got really bad chest pains and was rushed to hospital. Doctors said my weight was at a dangerous level and that my heart was suffering. I had to change my ways. My parents begged me to change, bought all the right foods, even watched me at mealtimes. But did I change? Nope. Still the fat glutton I've always been. I got bigger. I know what you're thinking. Why? Why do this to yourself? Why put not only yourself, but also your parents through this? Well, diary, I'll tell you. It's because I have zero self-control, obviously. I hate myself. I can feel my rolls. I hate going clothes shopping. Nothing suits me. Sometimes I just sit in bed and cry over how little control I have over my life. 20th of March, 2015. Sorry, diary. Forgot to date it last time. But it's been about three weeks. I got put in hospital again with chest pains. Doctors told me off. I saw a psychologist about my weight problem. And other than that, nothing much to report. Still a fatty. Always will be, probably. I'll update you when I've lost a few pounds. <laughs> we may be a while. Hello, people of Reddit. I am the father of Ella, the writer of this diary. My family and I are going through a very difficult time at the moment, as my daughter passed away last week. She had suffered from anorexia nervosa for many years, and in the end her heart couldn't cope anymore and gave up. It is clear reading her diary, which I did not know she kept until I had the opportunity to look in her bedroom, that she had severe body dysmorphia, believing she was actually overweight. She was 60 pounds exactly when she died. It was a hard decision to make, but I decided to post this diary for others out there who are either suffering themselves with this disease or know somebody that is. Sometimes, you just can't see the forest for the trees.